Welcome to my art channel. I'm Doug Tenapel. I'm going to talk about this this portrait of the Lincoln Memorial that I have painted. I did this in house paint. Did an overhead projection of it. I think it took about 15 or 20 minutes. But I did. A, I'm doing a video on it to explain to you how I did it. And the, and the reason why is because I want to document it on this channel because I want to. I think paint over this wall. I'm going to paint over that and try something else. I'm not sure what. Oh. Lincoln, the man. I'm going to paint this mural of Abe Lincoln. I got my paint, I got my brush, and uh, I work fast. I'll uh, just throw it in as fast as I can. How's that? Okay, this is one of the craziest sacred moments you'll ever see. We're inside the Lincoln Memorial. It has beautiful glass ceiling and then it has his speech over yeah, there. His Gettysburg address is carved in stone on the wall up there. And it's just the most amazing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> in this temple, as in the hearts of the people for whom he saved, the Union, the memory of Abraham Lincoln is enshrined forever. I just love the sculptural style and everything. It is, wow. Those are, you have these Doric order columns, those are Ionic on the outside. And there's buttresses outside too. This whole building was modeled. I just can't believe what I'm seeing. It's so beautiful. There's the beloved Miss Tanapa. Okay, what kind of columns are these? Order. This is the, based on the Parthenon. It shows the tribute and respect they had for Lincoln, though. So this room, huge, right? Mm -hmm. Tell them, tell them. The, and there's like an awe. There, it really is like a sacred place. This is four score, seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created. Staggering. So one of the reasons I like Abe Lincoln and why I'm, I did this portrait in tribute to him is I, I see him as an ultimate rebel. And the idea is just to lay down a bunch of principle and the truth just kind of comes out. You can't really... Painting isn't about painting what you, what, it's like your, it's like all values. It doesn't matter what your feelings are. It matters what's there. So you just follow what's there and it should come out pretty close. Is that there was people on both sides of him that demanded he act a certain way and he wouldn't do it. He didn't do anything because people pressured him into doing it. He was convinced he was incredibly intelligent, very well read, probably one of the smartest, probably the smartest president we've ever had. And unlike if I was doing this freehand, the proportions would be perfect. At this size, they're always right. Uh, I'm just talking about his writing ability, his ability to lecture, his ability to develop uh, ideas, including incredibly complex ideas and be able to break them down and convince other people of his position. And then to oversee one of the hardest times in American history is the Civil War. When we uh, went to war with each other is kind of a big deal. <laughs> it's like tough times demanded a great man. And... So all of us dream of doing the right thing in a difficult situation. I don't know how many of us would do as well as Abe Lincoln, given his, he was put in the most difficult position in American history. I don't even know what this is. It's part of his collar or something. I don't think anyone had it, even, even though I consider Washington uh, a more significant president in that you wouldn't have a country without him. Lincoln was the most impressive 
president in that he had the hardest job. It doesn't make him perfect, doesn't make all his positions right. I'm not saying that. I'm only saying I marvel at him as a man. Okay. So then comes this piece of art, this Lincoln Memorial, which when my wife and I went to Washington, D.C., and we walked in that room, my jaw dropped open. Just the sheer size of the marble block they carved him out of, it's like the size of a building, like a three-story building. Like, it's giant. And the room, uh, it has so much majesty. Um, and, of course, we... we uh, we, the people, have never lived up to what Washington, D.C. looks like, which is like a Parthenon or some kind of great, uh, the idea of it, it's clear the founders wanted it to look like it was going to be around forever or like it came from the heavens, like Mount Olympus. This brush is getting worked. I've used this brush since 1984, the first watercolor class in in art college, I use this. I mean, just, it's my beater brush, and it's actually one of the most faithful brushes I've ever had. And obviously, in our times, we've shrunk as a country. We've compromised, and we're just these tr trashy little people just trying to make it. And to me, that's kind of tragic and interesting. So I like making great works out of cheap materials. So I used crummy old house paint, leftover house paint to depict the amazing okay. Lincoln Memorial. And we'll end here on the, my cat Diesel having a nice little sleep. I'm Doug and thank you for watching my art channel. Don't forget to click around, subscribe and like.